You know, dogs, they can get a little possessive when it comes to their toys, their food, even around their dog bed. It is called resource guarding, and Becky shows us how to break that behavior in this morning's My Pet. Good morning. Becky McClintock with Service Dogs, Inc. This morning, we're going to talk about resource guarding. So, dogs have things that they like, just like us people. They value their food, toys, a comfy bed, and certainly us, they're humans. So, whenever a dog starts to protect these things from another dog or a person, us dog trainers call that resource guarding. You may see your dog get stiff in the body, or they may growl, or snap, or even bite another dog or a human that they perceive as a threat to their resource. If your dog is showing any of these behaviors, you want to make sure and seek out the help of a professional trainer. But the good news is, is there's some exercises that we can do to prevent resource guarding before it ever starts. The key is, we want our dogs to think that us interacting with their things is going to bring great results for them. So I've got Domino back here and, a, and his food bowl, which he's going to be really interested in. So Domino, he wants to come eat. Come on. Oh, yeah. And I'm just going to go ahead and add some treats to his food. So instead of me taking away things, I'm going to add. And I'll take his food bowl away and feed him. Add things so that he can see that I'm adding treats and go ahead and give it back to him. I can put it down and go ahead and throw in more treats. This is just showing him that me being a part of his eating is a good thing. He doesn't have to protect his food from me because I'm not going to steal it, and that's really important. Also, with toys, you can have dogs that will hide their toys or they'll growl or protect their toys from people. So what we do is we teach the dogs to trade. I'll get a similar toy, Domino, and move away, yeah, and he can just drop that toy and learn that he can earn another toy. I'm waiting for him to drop it. That way I'm never grabbing for his mouth or stealing his things. I don't know. Sit. Oh. This makes a fun game for everybody, and the dog learns that they don't have to protect things from you because you're always giving more to them. So for more about resource guarding, visit kxcn.com.